Hello everyone. How are you? Hope everyone is fine. Here is me with my first video about football history. Football, or soccer as the game is called in some parts of the world, has a long history. Football in its current form arose in England in the middle of the 19th century. But alternative the versions of the game existed much earlier and are a part of the football history. The first known examples of a team game involving a ball, which was made out of a rock, occurred in old Mesoamerican cultures for over 3,000 years ago. According to the sources, the ball would symbolize the sun and the captain of the losing team would be sacrificed to the gods. The first known ball game which also involved kicking took place in China in the 3rd and 2nd century BC under the name Kuju. Kuju was played with the round ball on an area of a square. It later spread to Japan and was practiced under ceremonial forms. The most admitted story tells that the game was developed in England in the 12th century. In this century, games that resembled football were played on meadows and roads in England. Besides from kicks, the game involved also punches of the ball with the fist. The football-like games would return to the streets of London in the 17th century. It would be forbidden again in 1835 but at the stage the game had been established in the public schools. For a long time there was no clear distinction between football and rugby. There were also many variations concerning the size of the ball, the number of players and the length of the match. The game in rugby was called the running game while the game in Eton was called a dribbling game. An attempt to create proper rules for the game was done at a meeting in Cambridge in 1848 but a final solution to all questions of rules was not achieved. Another important event in the history of football came about in 1863 in London when the first football association was formed in England. It was decided that carrying the ball with the hands wasn't allowed. The meeting also resulted in a standardization of the size and weight of the ball. A consequence of the London meeting was that the game was divided into two codes, association football and rugby. The game would, however, continue to develop for a long time and there was still much flexibility concerning the rules. For one thing, the number of players on the pitch could vary. Neither were uniforms used to distinguish the appearance of the teams. It was also common with players wearing caps, the header was yet to be a part of the game yet. The First Football Clubs Football clubs have existed since the 15th century but unorganized and without official status. It is therefore hard to decide which the first football club was. Some historians suggest that it was the football club formed 1824 in Edinburgh. Early clubs were often formed by former school students and the first of this kind was formed in Sheffield in 1855. The oldest among professional football clubs is the English club Notts County that was formed in 1862 and still exists today. The motivation behind paying players was not only to win more matches. In the 1880s the interest in the game has moved ahead to a level that tickets were sold to the matches. And finally, in 1885 professional football was legalized and three years later the Football League was established. During the first season, 12 clubs joined the league, but soon more clubs became interested and the competition would consequently expand into more divisions. The late 19th century that women started to play football. The name of the game, football or soccer. In most parts of the world, football is used as the name for the chest of the green pitch, the biggest sport in the world. In the United States and Canada, however, soccer is used instead as a distinction from American football. A more formal name sometimes used is association football, but in popular speech, it is either football or soccer. Like and subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon for new videos.